an alarming earthquake shakes the towns of Afkampi Flegre, a huge, long dormant volcano west of Naples, sent the media and local authorities into a frenzy. Journalists speculated that lava might start flowing from the volcanoes, threatening the 1.3 million people living in high-risk areas near the volcano center. Volcanologists are calling for existing evacuation plans, which assume that an eruption can be predicted 72 hours in advance, to be updated to include the possibility of having to evacuate everyone once the eruption begins. Italy's civil protection minister, Nello Musu Mechi, said he would consider raising the alarm level if seismic activity continues a move that would activate the evacuation of certain hospitals and prisons and encourage 500,000 residents to leave their homes voluntarily. After several weeks of calm, another aftershock rocked the region, prompting the media to return to speculating about the possibility of magma rising to the surface. The magnitude 4.0 earthquake, and hundreds of others since then, have capped a period of the most intense seismic activity Campi Flegrii has seen in decades. In the two months before January 12, more than 2,000 small magnitude earthquakes were recorded in the region, including the strongest since 1983. Monitoring systems show that the ground in some places has risen by 1.17 meters since 2005, and two-thirds of the earthquakes that happened has been happening since 2016. Tensions among residents remain high because scientists do not know for sure what is happening beneath the surface. The scientific community agrees that shaking and uplift are signs of volcanic revival. But they struggle to reconcile two conflicting explanations for the prominence that have been debated for decades, leaving residents and researchers feeling uneasy. The answer to this geological mystery could bring scientists closer to determining how likely the volcanoes is to erupt. It could also provide warning signs to geologists around the world when other large volcanoes start to rumble, especially supervolcanoes like Yellowstone in the northwestern U.S. One model of shallow magma holds that seismicity and bulging are caused by magma pushing to break through the surface, causing explosive eruptions, and that magma outflow is likely in the near future. Alternatively, in the hot fluid model, hot steam and gases released by magma located deep underground are the cause. In this case, the ongoing seismic activity can stop suddenly or reach its peak in a phreatic eruption of the volcanoes which will emit hot fluids, gas and rock fragments, not lava. This would pose less of a threat although it would still be deadly because so many people live nearby. Everyone agrees that magma is involved, said Roberto Moretti, professor of geochemistry and volcanology at the Luigi Van Vitelli University of Campania in Italy, and a proponent of the hot fluid model since 2013. But scientists disagree on what exactly magma's role is and consequently how close it is to the surface," Moretti said. The volcanoes, known as Fligrian fields in English, consist of two dozen craters and other structures over an area of 14 kilometers. A third of it lies beneath the Tyrrhenian Sea, between mainland Italy and the country's island of Sardinia. This volcanoes has been active for at least 80,000 years. 
The caldera is a depression created when an empty magma chamber causes the volcano's roof to collapse and was formed after two powerful eruptions 39,000-15,000 years ago. The older disaster caused a volcanic winter in regions within 100 kilometers, sending ash as far away as Russia and suddenly cooling the climate worldwide. 